Hey everyone, I'm gonna roll down into uh, towards the Ujupis. Um, kind of a little more modernized part of the city. Um, and take a little stroll by the, uh, by the river. stop this little monument here so Vilnius has a really significant Jewish population uh, I think pre-World War II it was called the Jerusalem of the North so a monument to righteous among the nations who rescued Jews in Nazi occupied Lithuania will be built at this site Cool. It should probably be written in German. <laughs> Just to let them know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's there are many synagogues in the city, many historical sites that were uh, that were destroyed in the war. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of preserved art. So. Really cool place if you're interested in if you're interested in history. Thank you. Yeah, Jerusalem of the North. I wouldn't I would not have guessed that. gonna roll through this market real quick. <laughs> the strawberries here are on point.
Oh, that's super cute. I like that they're like permanent stands so they don't have to. I don't have to set them up and tear them down. In Paris, they're like kind of rotating. Or, well, they have permanent spots, but they'll do them once or twice a week. So I'm gonna cross this bridge up here and this is gonna bring me into this, uh, I believe it's a little enclave which considers itself a republic within, a landlocked republic within greater Lithuania. And I don't think it's, a, it's an official, official thing. Um, it just seems like kind of a cool, bohemian enclave of artists and generally pretty chill people. I may be wrong about the location, but I feel like it's, I feel like I'm recognizing the spot. Congratulations, James. You done got yourself lost. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm right. We're in the, we're in the Republic and they have written it in so many languages. Let's read the constitution. Voilà, il se moque de nous un petit peu avec ses règles. <laughs> Everyone shall remember their name. 
Everyone has the right to be unhappy. So I guess that's kind of the symbol of the Republic of Ujupis. And I'll just do another walk so you can see the... So yeah, so they even have a yeah. They've got their current. They've got their own currency. You can, of course, still pay with your card. If you use. So here's kind of one of the entry points to Ujupis, and unfortunately they're doing some work on it. But um, there's an apple tree planted by the Dalai Lama. Et voilà. I guess he visited here a couple years ago. You can see the flags. So like I said, kind of cool, pretty free, free thinking bohemian types. Knowing what I know now kind of about the city, I may have moved more near that area. Um, not that it really matters. I mean, everything is like super, super close. And some of these padlocks are serious. This one was, <laughs> this couple is in love. <laughs> oh, you can get your name on it. We should follow up on Marina and Andreas. This is cute. And the ones in, in France kind of look banal compared to these because you just buy them, you just buy them, uh, like right there on the bridge and it just says five pack master locks. It's nothing special. We're actually getting their names and dates engraved on there.
all right well anyways i'll probably just wrap the video here that was a little a little hike through uh Uja peace and uh i'll catch you guys and girls on another day have a good one